Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I'm going to sort of unofficially, or at least on the thumbnail, title this a cheap knockoff because, again, I sort of borrowed this idea from Chuck Hellebuck. So, a little bit of a story with this. And, and one of the things as I go through some of this, because I want to talk about the design of this, really, uh, is I'm going to be running some stuff. I designed this in Tinkercad. I'm going to be putting my design up in the corner to kind of play out in the background while I'm talking about it. But to give you a little bit of uh, sort of background where some of this design inspiration comes from. So one night I couldn't sleep. So watching some infomercials and got tired of the infomercials. So I decided to watch Chuck Hellebuck's channel. And so went over to Chuck's channel. Um, was watching a couple different things. And he had this uh, screw tray. And I'll probably put a thing up in the corner or something. Or a link. I'll definitely have a link down below. Where he made these, these trays that went on the front of his workbench. And screwed into the workbench. Now, one of the things with Chuck I find. Uh, just like with the uh, wire holder and everything else. He likes to screw things into the wall. Into the desk. I think he owns probably stock in some screw company or something. I like more mobile things. But uh, again, uh, I thought it was an interesting design. And I'm kind of thinking, why limit it to screws or something like that? And what really got me thinking about this was when I read down below in the comments of that uh, actual video, one of his viewers had actually wrote in, why don't you put neodymium magnets on here and you know, so you can attach to the bench, take it off. And Chuck said, hey, it's on Tinkercad or whatever, have at it. And I got thinking, hmm. Why, why even go for neodymium magnets? Why not make it even more flexible than that? And so one of the things that I got thinking of is, you know how you know you go grocery shopping and you buy like that six pack of Coke or something and you put it on the side of the cart, how it just kind of hangs on there so basically it interlocks. And I got thinking, why not do something with that design that allows this to latch onto the drawer? So whether you use it in the Shop. And again, I'll have some pictures up in the corner. Is is I thought, why not hang this from a drawer? Make it a size that it hangs off to the side. And you can kind of see it up there. Um, you can use it for a myriad of different things, actually, uh, in this case. Because what what's going to happen is, again, it's going to hang on the drawer. And as you see in some of the pictures I have up there, uh, I can typically get about two per drawer in my workshop. And, and you can see these are being used in my workshop. What I do is I've got... Uh, uh, when we remodeled the kitchen, I took those cabinets, put them in the basement in my workshop. Naturally, the wife got the new ones, right? And uh, so these hang on the drawers. And what I can do is the tools that I use the most often that, that I would keep in the drawers, I keep actually in here in front. And so I can just reach down in front, grab, grab whatever tool, bring it out, do what I need to do, and put it back. It also works great in the kitchen because, again, you can have kitchen utensils or you can use it for cleanup, you know. So you go to brush something off the counter. The, I've designed it so it sticks out far enough but not too far uh, where it falls in. Now, I've got about an inch and a quarter here. So most drawer fronts are around three quarters of an inch. So this will fit most drawer fronts. And this will kick out to, to be past most lead, you know, lips of the countertops too but not too far where you're always running into it. So it's enough to where if you, you know, pull some uh, material over like breadcrumbs or whatever stuff, it's going to fall in here. And then you just lift it off the drawer, dump it in the wastebasket, and voila, you're done. So I got to say, this is probably one of the coolest um, designs I've came up with from what I just consider a basic practicality standpoint. Now, it does print with supports because, again, as, as we're printing it, let me take this out. Actually, I got some crumbs in here from when I shot the um, kitchen video with this. But uh, because this part in here does print, because you print it flat like this, as if you're looking down, and you've probably seen the time lapse up in the corner. Um, and um, so you do need to have supports in here. And, it, and they break away very easy. I've used cur Cura to slice it, and I've used supports touching bed. And it just it just pop off, and it comes out very clean. Now, in Tinkercad, I've used some rounded edges, so the relief... And it might print a little bit of, of uh, support material on the one side. I think it's this side. Actually, for some reason, it doesn't do it on this side. Um, but it's, it has very nice relieved, relieved edges. So if you run into it, it's not square. And so um, 
really some interesting design thinking that I put into this and you know again uh, sort of knocked off a Chuck's idea but you know this is one of the things I'm sharing a little bit in this video it is really you know because you see something somebody does and it's like you know how can I reuse that how can I make it better for a different purpose you know again you know Chuck started out for his workbench and I've now got a kitchen utensil as well as a shop utensil don't tell my wife I'm using this in the shop uh, but anyways it, it really has worked out great so I think this is pretty cool I've got this out on thing of I'll have the link down below. It will print on a 200 by 200 printer. Um, I'm going to probably do some larger ones actually on the Creality, but I wanted to the initial one to come up. Now, the other piece you can also do is in your slicer is you can change some of the dimensions on this. So if it's a little bit off, you know, maybe for some reason you have some really thick drawer fronts, uh, you can actually just kind of kick it out in whatever access you have this set up on your slicer to make it a little bit bigger. Of course, it's going to make this a little bit bigger but then I'm assuming you're going to probably want it to be kicked out a little bit more anyway because of the thick drawers so again when I designed it I also kept that in mind that some folks may want in the slicer change some of the uh, settings the other thing is too you can make it wider too if you just want to kick it out a little bit now again the tabs are going to become a little bit wider but really not a big problem uh, because it'll become wider proportionally you'll still have this center gap and the reason I put this center gra gap is, is I had originally thought about building this all the way across but then I have a lot of support material for really no reason and it really came up to be a cleaner design because I could actually probably even have these guys a little bit more but what I was concerned about is in PLA uh, them breaking off if they're too thin now I'm doing these at about I think a 20% infill and it is very sturdy it is not going to break the tabs are really nice and you know for PLA so and if you do it in ABS or PET G uh, even better I think it'd be kind of cool and I'll probably do some of these and clear too you know so they're semi-translucent but uh, anyways hey I thought these were really cool so I wanted to share them with you guys and again they're out on Thingiverse and if you make them hey uh, put a make out there on Thingiverse let me know what you think let me know what yours looks like let me know what you've done let me know if you can think of modifications hit me up in the comments below I definitely appreciate your feedback on this kind of stuff um, and if you're making these, share them with other folks. And, hey, they make good Christmas presents. I tell you, really, seriously, you know, think about this. You know, who could not use something like this in their kitchen? And the piece is, if you don't like the 3D print look, you can refinish it. Uh, I have down below, you can do some of that stone stuff that I love. I wouldn't do the inside with the st uh, stone stuff. I would uh, tape that off. But you could do the outside. Uh, with like a granite spray paint or something so it actually you know maybe matched your granite countertops or color coordinated with your Formica countertops you know hey the sky's the limit with something like this and it, it, it's rather unique and it's free for you so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up um, also swag shops up there if you're looking for swag you know hey Christmas isn't too far away uh, you know check out the swag shop a lot of cool gifts and then you know subscribe button of course if you're not subscribe please do and hit me up in the comments below we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up